Hey everyone, Oricon here, and I am back after my long vacation because I was just walking around my comic shop and I realized we've got a new magic set and this is one that I'm actually super interested in. So I picked up a pre-release pack, uh, comes out next week, so all they had was pre-release packs, but look at this puppy. Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. So this is a Magic the Gathering set that's a crossover with Dungeons and Dragons, and not just Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms, which is the type of Dungeons and Dragons that I am uh, the most nostalgic for. So uh, let's let's get into this. All right. So I played last time I played D and D. Uh, was a very long time ago when I was in high school, and it was uh, 3.5 edition. So that's showing my age a little bit. Uh, but when I did play, I played um, in Faerun uh, with me and my friends from high school, and it was a lot of fun. So I'm hoping there's some good stuff in here uh, that's you know nostalgic for me. Uh, so let's open it up. So you get this. This is a pre-release pack. You're actually meant to. Um, uh, you know, enter into sealed tournaments with these, uh, but I didn't want to do that because I, I prefer just playing at home, honestly. Um, but what you can do with these is it's uh, you get like a certain number of packs, uh, six booster packs, and you get to create your own deck on the fly uh, in a limited tournament. So um, maybe I'll grab a couple of these and do a do a uh, tournament at home type situation. Um, that would, that'll be pretty cool. So first off, the you get this little uh, explainer here that explains the new dungeon mechanic. Uh, I'll go into that in a second. It also shows you how to build a deck. That's very nice for people that um, don't know how to play uh, limited. Uh, I learned that a long time ago, though. So, <laughs> so this is this is a return uh, on both aspects for me because, like I said, I haven't played D and D since high school, and I haven't played Magic since uh, Tarkir. So that's it's been a few years, yeah, it's been a few years. So, first thing you get in this pre-release pack is uh, there are three dungeons in the set, and you get all three of them. And these are the foil versions, and they've got tokens on the back side, uh, skeleton, atropol, and goblin tokens, and they're nice and foily. Um, so the new mechanic, one of the new mechanics for this set is dungeons. So there are some cards you you these don't go in your deck; they go off to the side. And there are some cards that say, uh, if you do this, venture into the dungeon, uh, or go into the dungeon further. And so you put a little token or a counter here, uh, and you go down the dungeon, and each room of the dungeon you get special effects. Like at the cave entrance you get scry 1, uh, create a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token, etc. Uh, it's, it's an interesting mechanic, um, really, going to be really fun and limited. I don't see uh, Constructed do, doing anything with this really, but it's, it seems fun. Then you also get a pre-release promo card. Mine is Lair of the Hydra. Uh, if you control two or more other lands, Lair of the Hydra enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, tap to add one green mana. Pay X and a green mana until end of turn. Lair of the Hydra becomes a green Hydra creature. It's still a land. X can't be zero. Interesting. Uh, so these are these pre-release ones. They come with this little 2021 stamp. Uh, you get one... Uh, in a pack, and it's like it's any rare or mythic uh, from the from the set, I believe. Um, and there's also uh, a code in here for get uh, to get a bunch of cards on Magic Arena, which I'm not going to show. <laughs> uh, then you also get this divider thing; it goes in the box. The box itself is actually really cool. If you want to look at that, um, really really neat little storage box. And then here is the main event. You get six draft booster packs. So let's open these up. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I have not done this for Magic in a while. I have not done this uh, period in a while. Um, I've been, uh, there's been lots of stuff going on. I've been on vacation, been uh, family issues, etc., etc. I'll get I'll get more into it and, and what that means for the channel at the end of the video. But for right now, let's just open up some packs and have some fun. Alright, so for commons, we've got Boots of Speed. Oh, knocked my camera there a little bit. So that's nice. Boots of Speed, Spare Dagger. 
plus two mace. It's <laughs> uh, it's just like D and D. It's got you know lots of little references. Mordenkainen's polymorph, hobgoblin captain, sepulchre ghoul, hill giant herd gorger, devoted paladin, priest of ancient lore, manticore. Our uncommons are black dragon, cloister gargoyle. Oh, here we go. So this is um, what's uh, what's called a showcase card that uh, Magic's been doing the past uh, past uh, year or so. I, I don't really know how long they've been doing it, but uh, they're really nice, and they're different for every set. And this one, we've got creatures um, that are made to look like the old-school monster manual, which that's one of the reasons I wanted to pick these up, was these cards here. They look amazing. Uh, and this is Trellisara Moon Dancer. Very nice. Um, and our rare is Werewolf Pack Leader. Okay, so looks like I uh, might be making a pack tactics deck uh, with this with this set, maybe depending on what we get. Okay, another Boots of Speed. That's nice. Here, let me go ahead and. Put tokens, land, rares, showcase, uncommons, and all the commons. Yeah, here we go. Another boots of speed. You come to the Knoll Camp. So there's there's a few cards uh, in the set now that are like. Um, explaining things that, you know, you would do in D&D, &D, and it's like the DM's telling you what you do, and you get to choose uh, different options to go. It's really, it's really cool. Herald of Hadar. Spoils of the Hunt. Delver's Torch. Shocking Grasp. Plundering Barbarian. Oh, here we go. A Showcase Neverwinter Dryad. Very cool. Air Cult Elemental. Death Priest of Merkul. Blink Dog. And another Showcase, Barrowin of Clan Undur. Oh. Treasure Vault. Awesome. That's a good rare. And, ooh. Okay. So, we also got a Foil Mythic Showcase. That's really awesome. Of the Tarask, um, the Tarask has haste and ward 10 as long as it was cast. Whenever the Tarask attacks, it fights target creature defending player controls. Uh, so from what I've been hearing, this is actually not that great of a card, but the fact that it's a foil showcase, um, very cool. And so it's like, it's fo the, the green background is all foily. Um, I'm very excited about that. Okay. Uh, I'll put foil cards there. And then... Land and token. Guinevar, yeah. If anyone's read any of the uh, R.A. Salvatore books, they're, they're going to have a lot of fun with this set. All right. We've got a nice classic plummet. Circle of the Moon Druid. Dwarf Hold Champion. Shocking Grasp. Plundering Barbarian. Wan Ti Fang Blade. Spoils of the Hunt. You hear something on watch. What do you do? Air Cult Elemental. Neverwinter Dryad. Uncommons are Dragon's Disciple. Skullport Merchant. Aberrant Mind Sorcerer. And our rare is Forsworn Paladin. There's another swamp. All of our lands have been swamps and a wolf token. Interesting. All right. Plummet again. Boots of Speed. Shortcut Seeker. Armory Veteran. Hired Hexblade. Sylvan Shepherd. Dawnbringer Cleric. Secret Door. Zombie Ogre. Owl Bear. This is, a, this, is a, this is a great card. Look, it's an owl and a bear. Love it. Fly. 
Power word kill. You see a pair of goblins. Our rare is Paladin class. All right. We got a forest and a treasure token. Only two packs left. Looks like our only mythic is probably going to be the Tarrasque, which is a little disappointing. I would have loved a Tiamat. But you get what you get. You see a guard approach. Precipitous drop. Elter guard ranger. Ranger's hawk. Bar the gate. Brazen dwarf. Shambling ghast. Another zombie ogre. Owl bear. You see a pair of goblins. Prosperous innkeeper. Keen eared sentry. And Volo guide to monsters. I hear this one's good. I hear this one's good. And I also got a foil kick in the door. And an island. So there are other types of showcase cards that are lands made to look like the old school D&D modules. Um, doesn't look like I'm going to get one, but I would have loved one of those. I'm probably going to be uh, continuing to collect the set just to try and get those lands because they look amazing. Um, Goblin Javelin Ear. Inspiring Bard. Dwarf Hold Champion. Arcane Investigator. You come to the Knoll Camp. Got quite a few of those. Herald of Hadar. Spoils of the Hunt. Knoll Hunter. Another showcase. You hear something on watch. The showcases seem to be... These showcases, anyway, seem to be a lot more common in this set than in previous sets. Aberrant Mind Sorcerer. Chaos Channeler. Dungeon Crawler. And our last rare is... Hey! Hey, Drizzt Oh, that that is uh, that is a good card to end on. Um, I don't even know if it's that great of a card. I just it's Driz. You gotta love him. Oh, that that brings back a lot of really good memories. So awesome, very cool, very cool. And we also got a uh, foil Ginny Winsier. All right, so that is the. Uh, one pre-release pack. We've got uh, four, five of the normal showcase cards, as well as three foils, including one of them being a foil myth, uh, foil showcase mythic. So that's very nice. It was it was a pretty good set um, for my first one. For you know, there not being anything that I'm really disappointed in because everything's brand new and uh, interesting and. Uh, I'm excited. This is this is a cool new set. Um, if you are interested, uh, pre-release is today is this weekend. Uh, look at your local LGS if you want to get involved in that. And um, the set officially releases next week. And I'm I'm very happy about this Drizzt. Um So yeah, very cool. If you want to uh, stick around, and uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the channel. Uh, and if not, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, um, and I will see you in the next video, and hopefully we'll uh, maybe make a deck out of this. That'd be cool, right? All right. All right, how'd you like that? That was, that was pretty fun. It was pretty fun, right? Yeah. Um, so this is the first video I've had in quite a while, um, and the very last video I did uh, was talking about, hey, I'm going to make a whole bunch more videos. Whoops. Yeah, I went on vacation. Stuff happened. It's life. It's okay. Uh, and, I, you know, I changed my mind. That's that's what I do, really. So the, uh, st the plans that I had have changed. Um, things are going to slow down a little bit because I'd like to um, really focus more on some, like, editorial com content, like scripted opinion pieces. Uh, and that's going to take some time to get together. So the whole um, multiple episodes per week thing, it's not going to happen from here on forward. I'm just going to put out a video whenever I want to, whenever I have something I want to talk about. And um, that will, I think, bring up the quality of the videos because I'm not, like, pressured to put them out, like, uh, you know, every couple of days. Um, the algorithm does not like, like this idea. They want videos turning out, like constantly, and uh, you know what, I, I don't really care about that anymore, um, so I'm just going to make videos that I like to make, and YouTube can uh, 
stay mad. <laughs> But anyway, I'm still going to be putting out uh, really cool uh, card opening videos whenever I get some nice cards to open. Um, you know, we've got uh, July 30th is the pre-release for the new Digimon set, so there will definitely be a video for that. But as far as beyond just opening cards and messing around with them, um, actual um, content, other, content other than that, uh, it will be more uh, scripted, more... Um, this is what I have to say, and so I'm going to say it, and, uh, I will still be doing some, uh, update videos on the other stuff I'm doing, like the Ring Fit Adventure. Like, I'm still doing that behind the scenes, it's just, um, doing a video every single week for that, uh, or every two weeks, I ran out of things to talk about. So, uh, we'll just, we'll just play by ear, see how it goes. Uh, if you like the channel, if you like what you saw here and you want to see more, click down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, all that jazz. Uh, tell me how I'm doing. Tell me what you want to see. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.